be a failure. As long as not gonna kill you, it's gonna make you what? Stronger. What are a few mistakes that uh, you know young men can make in the negotiation room? Uh, a lot of mistakes they I make. Mean, I've, I've seen it all the time. They, they have the idea. They don't do research. They don't find out if that idea is already there. They think their idea is the best idea ever, and then they go to spend money trying to develop this idea, and then a lot of time they run out of money before the idea is even uh, a reality. By the way, is quitting a business directly proportion to the you know uh, getting out you know running out of cash? Well, no. I mean, qu when you quit a business, uh, uh, you know, it, d it depends what your definition of quitting. You can pause the business for a few months until you look for money. And all. I've done it plenty of times where you slow down uh, the business. My, my previous business, I used to, uh, it, it used to be the first two years was a roller coaster. So every time I was low on cash, I go get a job. Oh, really? For six months. <laughs> yeah. I used to go get a job for six months. Save, 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 save. <laughs> Boom. Go back to the business. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to do the job and do the business at night. Wow. I mean, but I was in logistics, so it was, it was doable. But that was in the USA? Yeah, in the US, yeah, yeah. So how many years did you spend in the USA? 17 years. 17 years doing yeah. business in USA? Well, not 17 years doing business. 17, I, I did business in the US around 14, 15 years. By the way, as we come to the conclusion, uh, sometimes we, uh, we speak all these sophisticated things and then... Uh, that there is no, you know, uh, uh, you know, inspiration. You know, Arid is a very established company so far, and uh, it's really going viral, you know, into all of the 30 districts, I think, and you see you're also going to Uganda. And, uh, you know, it's very rare to find a local company scaling up like that. So, and you've won a lot of awards, you've, you've raised a lot of money from the waste. And uh, it, it's, a, it's a huge thing. But Henry, what, what is that time in your business, you know, startup stage, when you're still young into business, that you went to your bed and you cried and you were like, can I quit this? What, what's that crying moment, sorry? I mean, uh, uh, for, for the young man, for me, because I've cried too, so. Yeah, you know. for you. Oh, for when, me. When did you cry? Like, when did you feel like, I'm going to leave this business? Yeah, I mean. When was it really too much, like? Even to, even today, I still have those moments where it's too much stress and Tell problem and all. I mean, I, I, the, the, the story I like to share is, um, again, my previous business, not this one. Because, you, you know, business is about mindset. Eh? If you have a tough mind, you can deal with much more stress. But back then, I was, I was still young in the, in the game. And, um, I, you know, like I said, it took me two years to, to make money on my previous business. When I say make money, be profitable. Uh, make more money than you spend. That's, that's, that's the key. Um, and every time uh, I was down... When do you achieve that? Like when do you start, uh, when do you go on the level of making more money than you spend? Can, you, can we count it in how many? You can do that in one year, like, like average. You can't count because it depends on the business you are. Like I said, innovation takes much longer time. So innovation can take like how many years? Average. I, I, I'll give you an example. Amazon take them uh, over 10 years to, to be profitable. You know, 10 years. I mean, so 10 years you have to have money to spend. Because again, innovation is about new ideas, That's right? True. You bring something new to the market. So you have you got financial backup exactly because until you and that's why the, the the strength of the West compared to us Africans because us we don't spend on innovation they have a lot of support on innovation they have grants they have government right. grants and all we don't have those things yet or if we have very small scale so a lot of time they tell you go get a loan or, or use your own money to to build innovation is the is the worst idea you can do you know because innovation is not just about the idea. It's about uh, the customer adopting your new idea. That's true. So you have to convince that customer this idea is better than the last idea you were doing using before. You so know, it's, so it's, that's it's, a lot of work and money. It's a gospel and product. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. a lot of work and money, you know. So unless you have, you know, government support where they can move stuff quicker and pass a law and say you have to use this, then that's a different story. But most of the innovators, they have to build that you know, change mindset themselves. 
Well, to tell us the story. But the story is very simple. I mean, every time in life, uh, in business, you're going to come to what they call a crossroad, where you either go left and you quit, and you go right and you continue. And you're fighting. puzzled. Exactly. Every, every step of, the, of your life in business, you're going to go through that. And I remember clearly uh, something had to happen. I don't know. I was losing. I, uh, one of my truck was broke down. At that time, I had two trucks break down. And, you know, a, a big, those are 18 wheelers. They, they break down. That's four, five, six thousand dollars you have to spend just to fix it. And I remember getting on my knee and, 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 and start uh, literally crying and asking myself, man, why me? That's the first thing I used to why say. Why me? Why me? What did I do so wrong <laughs> to deserve this thing? You know? <laughs> why, why, why me? And then, and then after that, I, 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 I asked myself, I was like, if I stop now, I'll never know if I could have made it. That's true. And that's always been my motivation. If I stop now, I'll never know if tomorrow would have been better. You know, if the day after tomorrow would have made it finally. You know, most people stop right before their success. That's true. And thank God I didn't. You know, but, but that's what kept me pushing. This Again, day. when you came in Rwanda, what's that hardest moment that you had? Oh, I had. But, you know, when you go through so much hard, you know, hardship in the past, new hardship is not really... I, I was already prepared. And that's what I tell the youth all the time. Prepare your mind for hardship. That's true. Then the hardship will not seem so hard. On you. Wow. But we because prepare. You have exactly. You're already preparing yourself. It's going to be hard. You know? So your mind is, you know, your mind is a computer. That's true. So whatever you feed your mind is what's going to compute. If you feed your mind, it's going to be easy and it becomes hard. Your brain is not prepared. That's true. And then you're like, you're oh my God. And then it becomes, oh, I, I can't Paralyzed. do this. You're, yeah. <laughs> this is too hard. But if you tell your mind, this is going to be the hardest thing I'm going to do, then your brain is already saying, okay, it's going to be hard. Let me figure out how to, you know, already know if hardship come, what to do. But a lot of young men and women, especially men, they say, oh, in a year I'm going to be rich. And that's the uh, last thing I want to say is that's ego. True. That's true. In business, you need to put your ego in check. That's, that's what kills a lot of business. Big ego, you know. Thinking you have the best idea. There's no such thing as the best idea. It's only best to you. But, you know, you have to convince the rest of the world that your idea is best. Then you can say it's the best idea. So ego needs to be in check. And prepare your mind for battle. For hardship. Entrepreneurship is a battleship. It's a, it's a battleground. You know, it's not a walking apart. It's not a straight line. You have so many issues. I can't, I can't, I can't. We, I don't think we have.